Hi, welcome to the Lady Yum Yum Show. Today we have a guest to show us how to make Hadley grass pizza. I'm gonna go find me some Hadley grass. Make life yummy with food for your mind and tummy, Lady Yum Yum. So I found some Hadley grass. This is why they call it grass. You can see it, and if you look down here, you can see the actual asparagus starting, and they actually clip it right at the roots. But I'm not going to wait for this to grow. Let's go find some we can use. This one will do. I'm back from the farmer's market with my Hadley grass. And I have a cook who's been with us since the very first episode. And he's going to come in and show you how to make Hadley grass pizza. Hi, I'm Tom. And ever since Lady Yum Yum started doing her YouTube show, I've wanted to do an episode with her and I finally got my chance and today we're gonna make Hadley grass pizza. Ooh, the scepter! Do I get a crown? Don't push it, Tom. All right, back to business. The first thing we're gonna do is prepare the asparagus. Earlier on, I prepared the asparagus by washing it thoroughly and snapping the fibrous ends off. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of olive oil on them and toss it around to cover them. Now I like to get early season asparagus because the roots store sugar during their previous year. This is a perennial plant. And then at the beginning of the season, the asparagus is much sweeter and less fibrous. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Everything tastes better with a little bit of salt. And then we'll set these aside and prepare the dough. Now for the dough. People are so intimidated by anything that has yeast in it. There's only one thing that can cause a disaster, the water temperature. The water is supposed to be tepid, body temperature. The only thing that can go wrong is to make it too hot. You can use cold water and it'll just take a little longer to rise. So, one cup of water. Now for the yeast. This is two teaspoons of yeast and two tablespoons of sugar. The yeast needs something to grow on, to live on while it's proofing. And one teaspoon of salt. And the salt is just for us. And stir it up a bit to mix the ingredients, dissolve the sugar. And then we just let that sit until it develops a little bit of a foam. This is what it looks like when the yeast is ready to go. And you may notice a little bit of smell, and that's alcohol. The yeast makes alcohol as it grows. Now, the next ingredient is about a tablespoon of oil. Some pizza recipes have a lot of fat in the dough. This one doesn't, and it doesn't need it, but the, a little bit of oil will make the dough more elastic and easier to handle when we get to the hard part, which is stretching it out. I've only put in some of the flour. So I'm starting on a low speed. You don't want to try to rush this because it gets really pretty thick and you don't want to hurt your machine or make it jump across the room. Okay, so now Almost all of the dry flour is gathered up, so it's time to add a little bit more. Ah, now it's all smooth, and you can see it's in one big lump. It's ready to take out of the machine. Okay, now look at this. It's smooth, it's stretchy, it's sort of rubbery, and what I'm doing is I'm curling under the edges and going round and round and round. I'm trying to make one ball with no creases showing so that as it rises, it doesn't have any uh, gaps or anything like that. You can see it get real smooth now. Now the dough goes in an oiled bowl and it gets covered with a damp cloth and it goes into a warm place. Now Lady Yum Yum has a fancy proofing oven but I'll bet your oven has a light in it. And if you turn on the light and just leave on the light, don't turn on the oven, that will keep it warm enough for a quick rise. All right, this is the part I've been waiting for now. The Lady Yum Yum Kitchen has some special tools you don't have. 
you would have to leave this in the oven for about an hour until it doubles in bulk. But Lady Yum Yum has this and I've been waiting to use it. Alakazam. And that's what it looks like. And this is all ready to start stretching out into your pan. So I have my oven preheating for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 204 degrees Celsius. And I take, it out of the, take the dough out of the bowl and I have a, an oiled pan here. I just put a little oil smeared around with my hands like that. And now with my oily hands, I press. I'm not stretching, I'm pressing. Wherever you see a high spot, press it down. And as you can see, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And at some point, the dough will resist your efforts. And that's when you fool it by going and relaxing for five minutes while it continues to rise. And it'll be a lot easier when you come back. I'm making a rim by pressing right near the edge and it curls up so that it holds any sauce or ingredients or cheese that melts. And then we'll be done. Okay, we finally get to assemble our pizza. And for sauce, all we're using is this. Earlier we prepared this. This is just a little olive oil and a couple of cloves of garlic minced up and crushed and about a teaspoon of oregano and a little bit of basil. And it's not important the exact proportions. And that's all the sauce we use here because Anything like red sauce would just overpower that nice, fresh asparagus. Okay, let's start with the cheese. There's, uh, this is just shredded cheese. It's, I like a, about half and half a sharp cheddar and mozzarella. And we just start at the outside of the pizza because remember you eat from the outside in so you don't wanna have a bite with nothing on it. So you start from the outside and that way you won't forget. Doesn't that look great? And next is the mushrooms. We have some, just some sliced up mushrooms with a tossed in a little bit of oil so that they'll cook a little juicier than if you just use dry sliced mushrooms. They wouldn't be quite as nice. And again, spiral your way in. Make sure you don't leave any slice with nothing on the edge. So some of you probably thought we were going to be dealing with some kind of illicit grass, but we're using Hadley grass, that is asparagus, and the reason it's called Hadley grass is because I come from western Massachusetts where they used to grow an enormous amount of asparagus and it used to be shipped by the boxcar load to New York City. And every spring, all of Hadley would be growing asparagus and everywhere you looked, it would look like grass. And so it came to be known as Hadley grass, and everybody in my area still calls it that. I'm gonna put this in a preheated 400 degree oven. I can't tell you exactly how long it cooks, 10 to 15 minutes, but you just look at it and see when it looks like a cooked pizza. Ah, Lady Yum Yum, check this one out. This is perfectly cooked, brown crust, cheese is bubbly, that's what it should look like when it's done. You can't tell by time, you have to look at it. This pizza looks gorgeous. In fact, somebody already took a piece. Let me take a bite. Mm. You can smell the garlic oil and the herbs from the garlic oil. You have that smell of freshly baked dough. And then you've got the kind of strange, different uh, flavor of asparagus. It, it really makes it a unique pizza, and uh, I hope you'll try it. Really good.